Well, ladies and gentlemen, in this video, I am going to be discussing another crazy story involving the Twin Towers on September 11th, this time the Stairwell B story of the 14 survivors that did survive the collapse of the North Tower on top of them. So I did do a video recently about people that survived in the Marriott, which had the South and the North Tower fall on top of it. Well, these are 14 people that did survive in one of the only remaining areas of the North Tower. Now, when it comes to the Twin Towers, the base of the Twin Towers, at least the outer walls and also some of the building core was stable for at least a little bit after the initial collapse. There's some famous videos, some crazy videos of both of the building cores visible and I've done several videos talking about this because I find it so interesting but I remember one time watching the towers collapse and I was like what is that thing that's still there you know because everyone thinks well if they collapse everything goes down but no both of the building cores remained up for about 10 to 15 seconds and then they collapsed after it now it is disputed on whether or not there could have potentially been people within the building core technically the area would have been like the bathrooms that, that potent, maybe there were some bathrooms that were still, you know, at that point up, would have been the last thing up in either of the towers, the building core and possibly the bathrooms because they, they were right next to each other. And people were like, well, do you think there would be people in there? I don't, it's impossible to say. I mean, the building cores look like they're straight from hell, honestly. And looking at them, they just look so dark. And, and, and there's like rods hanging off of them and stuff. It's just crazy. And then the other thing that you had remaining up, some of the tridents, I would say like at least 30, maybe 35% of the tridents were still up. It was like the buildings were skinned almost as they were coming down to where the base, because the tridents are in the ground, they're stable, they were able to remain up. And then the wall above them would have just broken completely off and they remained there. And that was one of the crazy things when people started to, you know, explore and try and rescue people within the Twin Towers, within, within the debris, they would have seen the Marriott, the one side of the Marriott still there. And also a lot of the Trident still up and still remaining. And they also would have seen Stairwell B in the North Tower. You can take a look at some of the images of it. Now, obviously for something like this to somehow remain and survive a collapse, it would need to be located like right on the ground and have that support. And, and, and that's exactly what it had. Now, when it comes to this story, there was a group of firefighters that were in the North Tower when the South Tower collapsed. So the timeline would be the firefighters going up the stairs, trying to rescue people, trying to assess the situation. They didn't know, obviously, either of the towers were coming down. They thought they were stable, and this was going to be some type of crazy rescue operation to try and save as many people as possible from the floors above the impact zone because they also didn't know that the impact zone in the North Tower had completely destroyed all the passages to be able to rescue people above the impact zone. Now, when the South Tower collapsed, the firefighters, who at this point were pretty high up in the North Tower, were ordered to come out of the tower. Obviously, it's not safe. It's not stable. There were thoughts that, of course, if the South Tower had collapsed and the North Tower had basically the exact same thing happen to it, a plane fly into it, it was going to collapse uh, likely short after. So they were ordered down and as they moved down the stairs, on the 22nd floor, they found a distraught woman who was a bookkeeper. They decided at this point, being on the 22nd floor, to carry her all the way to the bottom. However, they did not make it all the way to the bottom. They heard a very loud rumble, and the North Tower basically just collapsed on top of them. Now, what that would feel like, what it would look like, I'm guessing it's just all a blur you really don't know what's happening, you know, somehow surviving it, not really understanding how it's even possible. And I would imagine they were just very confused. And it's not even like you could see parts of the building collapse. They would be in the stairwell. And it is crazy to look at that stairwell and see some of the stairs actually remaining intact. And they probably were about three or four flights uh, from the bottom at that point. So one of the only reasons that they were able to survive that was due to them being located near the bottom. Obviously, if they were on floor 22 or 23, there would be virtually no chance of living. But it is just a crazy, crazy story 
to be inside the North Tower and, and somehow that area didn't collapse and you make it out. It's extremely lucky. One of the survivors said, quote, the tower came down like a peeling banana and it peeled around us. Imagine if they got video of that. Oh my God. Uh, but yeah, it, it is a crazy situation. So that is just the story of the 14 survivors who did survive coming down Stairwell B, Stairwell B. And Stairwell B was like the one main structure that was noticeable uh, within either the North or the South Tower outside of the Tridents. But of course, you know, the Tridents aren't going to help you survive. They just were up because they were attached to the ground and they had support. And, and the walls above them literally just snapped in half. And that's how they were able to, because they had that support literally into the ground, they were, a lot of them were able to stay up and remain, even though the entirety of the glass within the tridents was completely shattered, they did remain up and they did save the tridents as well. And I will say just a little morbid observation when it comes to these people surviving would be the fact that, I, I mean, what happens when the rubble clears and it, like, can you look around? How smoky would it be? Would you be able to make out the trident still standing? Would you be able to see possibly the building core still up? I would imagine probably not considering the stairwell would probably block it out. But imagine if they saw the building core still up and then fall, that vantage point would just be crazy. And you know, th they would have like the first eyes on the twin towers after the collapse before really anyone else. Uh, which is just something, it, it's like chilling to think about. It's just something weird that I do find interesting. And then you also do have the survivor's staircase, which was located outside, not in the Twin Towers. But it is significant because if you look at the plaza and the footprint, this was like the last thing that you could kind of sort of make out that wasn't completely destroyed at the ground level. Again, obviously the tridents were up, the stairwell was up, but at ground level, this stairwell which originally served as an escape route for people evacuating from Five World Trade Center. And they have gone on to preserve this at a museum as well. But it is crazy to think about the few people that did survive actually inside one of the towers, the North Tower. There is no reports of anything like this in the South Tower. This was just a happenstance thing that I would imagine is because of where they were located the proximity to the ground and the idea that as the building is collapsing because the lower floors are kind of tethered into the ground they've got a higher chance of staying upright and also when you look at the stairs they're like surrounded by concrete and you can kind of understand how maybe a section would like break off and fall inward and maybe miss the entire that stairwell completely even though there was sustained damage to that stairwell this was just kind of some random happenstance thing and obviously it is very shocking but we also have to understand 99 percent of the people in that building when the towers collapsed they did not survive so even though this is crazy it's surprising uh if you were in that building it, it was just not going to end well unless there was something crazy uh, honestly unless you were close to the bottom that was the only chance of a possibility. And obviously, if you were in the lobby or anything like that, there's no way. Uh, but this was just kind of a crazy thing where an area that was like surrounded by concrete, a stairwell, was able to remain up. And those people did survive. And again, kind of the interesting thing to me is what happens right after that? You know, what are you looking at? Can you see anything? You got to be so disoriented when it comes to that massive tower falling on top of you. The woman saying it peeled like a banana. I wonder what the visual of that actually would be. It's just got to be so overwhelming. But either way, guys, that is going to do it for this video. Make sure you follow me on X. Link to that's always in the description.